Hey guys, this episode is free thanks to our sponsors. For more information, go to betterhelp.com slash belly and expressvpn.com slash belly. Enjoy the show. U-R-D-E-R-E-R Murderer I'm right here Gilbert Is a murderer with biological warfare I'm from Wuhan Now listen Welcome to another um, Me and Clutter are on the last days of Coves Mm -hmm. Uh, We got really sick Um, It was terrible And you know um, Like in The Godfather You know (laughs) You know, you get betrayed from the inside. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. And you get betrayed yeah, yeah. by somebody that seems like to be an ally, seems like they're your friend. But this guy came in here. <laughs> yeah, you see what you're doing? Uh, your little cute sound effects, dude. You know what I mean? I like it. But my point is, is at the end of the day, you got us sick. Did I? <laughs> Yeah. I like this about you. Yeah. So you didn't know when you came in the last, when you were. He sick. didn't know. You didn't know. He wasn't even. No. He... That's why I knew. I didn't know. God, relax. You're going to get another boil. Yeah. You're going to get another, yeah. another boil in wow. your It's not a boil. It's a sty. COVID gave no, me a sty. I, I, I didn't know. Honestly, that Saturday, it was immediately when I woke up, I was like, I, w- I get tested all the time. So I tested right away, and that's when I found out. I didn't know Friday. Mm. And, um, you got her other family members sick. Anyway, um, wait, who? My mommy. Oh, but did I? Who went to see them? Bobby got her sick. That's not. That's not such a. Mm. Wait, what? Wait, wait, How dare you reveal yourself? Stop, stop. I told you on Saturday you're supposed to be in quarantine when you come in contact. No, you told me and George. You didn't tell Bobby. But then Bobby called. Call, the Bobby called. Oh, me, that's right. Bobby did call. Yeah, but she was already at our house. No. You knew Saturday, and you still. Kalila was protecting mom. her mom, and you I broke quarantine. No, no, I, I, I you shared that's an in-and-out burger. Sun- you shared an In-N-Out burger with her and fries. Yeah, but I didn't know until Sunday that I had COVID. No, no you knew he had. COVID. Yeah, but I didn't. Know, I didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> that is how this is the. This is how this spread. I have it. This is how right? COVID spread. I, I, I don't like where this is going. So what you're saying is, is that I purposely got your mom sick. We both knew on Saturday. Yeah. That we had been very clearly exposed, and then the, we knew that there was a risk. So what we did, what I did, was I completely stayed away from my mom she on did. Sunday. She mm. told me that. But you didn't. You were like, Maritess, you want? And she said that you, and then she said you played like no, card, ga- card games. And that's stuff. not true. First of all, that's can I just defend myself? Uh-huh. Absolutely not true. Okay, <laughs> I was got I was keeping my distance from your mom, right? Mm-hmm. And I go, I'm gonna go in and out, and she goes, Bubby, get me in and out, right? <laughs> What's your order? Don't change the subject. Uh, number one, I'm not I'm regular just onions. <laughs> All right, don't change the fucking subject. But um, anyway, um, COVID is um, we've been there, done that. Um, it's is it like the flu? Similar. Mm-hmm. Um, we definitely bonded. We did bond uh, a lot. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't really know who you were for the. F- I, I was really sick for like two days. Monday and Tuesday, I was like sick. So Wait, you have two days stretch where it was bad, or three? Um, two days, two days. Um, Same. he never got a fever. Um, what? I only had a s- tiny bit of a fever, and then. But she had diarrhea farts. I. <gasps> How dare you call her out? That's not true. You said, "Baby, this is you know, what is your fucking liar." This is what you said. <laughs> we were on the couch together, and you said, "Babe, we've been together for so long. Can you can you finally let me hear you fart?" And I was like, are you sure? Are yeah, you yeah. sure? I thought you've Can heard I this. trust you? I thought you've heard this before. And then I finally did, and you humiliated me. Why? Because let me ask you something. When I ask for, you know what I mean, just a hamburger, and I get fries as well, <laughs> right? That's not what I... I asked for a fart, but you gave me <laughs> diarrhea as well. Like, no, like what animal, happened animal was style? this. Yeah, 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 you got me animal style. Yeah, that's what exactly what Double it was. Double animal Can style. Can I tell Double you how it style. happened? Yeah. It was like I was trying so hard to produce a fart for him that I overshot. And so I pushed too hard thinking, oh, my God, there's, it's finally here. And I was like, babe, come here. I ha- finally have one. Yeah, and, it went, and then I did. And then it too much came out. It went like it was raining. OK. But not only did that happen. Right? <laughs> and you admit to me that 
And please admit it because if you're, are you a liar? No. Oh, okay, good. She's an honest woman. So how many farts did you do <laughs> after that first one? Are these pops or are these like rolls? Four. Are these rolls or pops? Not not in a row. No, these are like or distinct. Like... These are distinct events. Well, can I tell you how I got there? <laughs> Please. Okay. We so, need to know how you got there. <laughs> what happened was at that time, you know, he was... You know, we were laughing, we were laughing, and then Jules hears the commotion. She goes, what, what's happening? I was like, I'm farted. I farted in front of him for the very first time. She goes, oh, my God, you did. So she comes in the room. I was like, do you want to see it again? And so then I was like, <laughs> I was like, do you want to see me fart in front of him? And so she sat there, and we were laughing hysterically because I finally, like, you know. Yeah, she, so she did another one, wet as well, okay? Oh, wow. And then she did a couple of more unprovoked. <laughs> <laughs> like without any like announcement, without it wasn't even a joke. She got comfortable. She just got comfortable. Mm. Can I tell you what he did during COVID? I didn't do anything, dude. He almost got killed in the middle of the night. This is what he did. Oh no 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 no! no, 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 no. Stop stop stop! stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, wait. Order the court. What uh, is the score? Uh, 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 stop stop! Are you my lawyer? You almost lost yes. your life. Yeah, are you my lawyer? Okay. I got your back. You got my back. I right? got Kalala's back. And you're out. the lawyer, okay? Oh, judge? No, no, you guys can't be a lawyer. You guys have to be two judges. Right, I can defend myself. We're, we're two gay judges. All right. So, together. All right. So, we're deep in COVID at this point. We're deep in COVID. Delirious. All right. So would you like to share your point of view? Yeah. Go ahead. Sure. So <laughs> as I'm as I'm fevering, right? Shuddering in bed. I'm very I have very fractured sleep. So I'm in and out of sleep. One of the times that I wake up. I look over to the right of the bed and I see Bobby start to like fidget out of bed. And I'm like, sweetie, sweetie, are you okay? Are you okay? And then he rolls out to the side of the bed okay. and this is all I see. Tell me if this doesn't terrify you. <laughs> what the fuck? Like that. Okay. okay. That looks and like a baby in a scrub trying to fight sleep. That's a. Uh, uh, so I, I'm like, sir, thank you, but thank, excuse yeah. me, sir, but thank <laughs> At you. this point, I think that, oh my God, there's something really wrong with it. I'm screaming, Bobby, Bobby, okay. wake up. Is he making Nothing. sounds? He's, no, he's just doing like a fucking demon in the dark, like a fucking scary, a, like, wow. okay. exorcist in the dark. And so I'm freaking out because I'm like, why can't he hear me? So what I do is I go over and, uh. like, because I'm like, oh my God, like, he's possessed. And in my fevered brain, I was like, I got to capture this demon. So, <laughs> so wait, so now you're yeah. all right, you're a monster hunter. Yeah, I'm a monster hunter. Yeah. I was like, I have to do something. So I grab him by the wrist because uh -huh. I'm about to like throw him in a closet because mm -hmm. I'm like, he's turned into a full demon. Okay. What is your side of things? And then he screams. So you were all on force. Your butt was sh jetting out like that. Right. So I, when I grab him, he lets out the most blood curling scream okay. I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. Can I get a little sample? <coughs> Chill. I, I don't, I, I, because in my point of view, I didn't scream. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Like that. All right, so, all right. <laughs> okay. Order in the court. Yeah. Uh, may I? Plaintiff. Thank you. May I address the court? Yes. I'm Bobby. Thank yeah. you. Um, so Tuesday night, I was, um, I had <laughs> massive COVID. Yeah. You know, I was very sick. And um, as you know, by sleeping next to me, right? That I, what do I have next to the bed? Boxes Sunflower of. Sunflower seeds. Not only that, but I have boxes of ear, ear plugs. Oh, okay. Do that, I not? Yeah, but you don't wear them all the time. Yeah, I, every night I wear them. And that's crazy. But every, <laughs> every, night, night, every night you hear me. No, I don't. How I come can't you hear talk anything. back? I don't hear, I don't hear you ever. <laughs> so I have earplugs in my ear. That's a fact, right? <laughs> I jam. Yeah, deep in my thing because the reason why I do it is because in the mornings when Juliana gets up for school, right, the dogs go crazy, right? And it always wakes me up. So I, I plug my ears to the point where it's just dead silent, okay? So now I have earphones in my ear. I mean, ear, ear uh, waxy earplugs in my ear, right? And, um, but before I did that, I had AirPods in my ear. So think, okay? okay? I have AirPods in my ear, right? On top of the what? No, 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 not in a double way. No, I'm not a freak. Oh, that's crazy. That's, oh, you already have a that's hole absurd. in your story then. No, that's not. 
we will get to that. We'll finish. Listen, I'm listening to music. Any, any listen, notes. Tread I'm hey, listening tread to carefully. Uh, listen, I'm listening to music with my AirPods, right? Okay. And what happens is I go, you know what? I'm, I, I'm, I see myself drifting. I take them out. Okay. Put them in my hand. I take the earplugs. You know what I mean? I put them in, right? Mm -hmm. And then I take the AirPods to put it into the fucking Air Plus, AirPod Plus pod receptacle. Yeah. <laughs> okay? I love that one. I open it up. And you know how difficult, I, anyone that has an AirPod, no, you, you, you can't put one in the other. It's got to be in a certain angle. Look because of the, yeah. yeah, right? And I drop one of them. Okay? And, and I have the earplugs in my ear, right? So I go, and I could feel, you know, it rolled underneath the bed. And I'm like, fuck, mm. I've got to fucking charge them for tomorrow night, right? So I get on all fours, right? And I have the, my cell phone now, and I have it on the light, right? <laughs> and I'm looking underneath the okay. bed, right? Track. I'm not doing a ring, hop around, you're fucking. Not, you're not doing four quadrants? No, yeah, I'm not Good. doing that. That's fucking insane. I'm literally just looking for one fucking AirPod earpiece. Okay. Okay? How do you explain the scream that she had mentioned in her? Now, story? imagine... I'm on all fours on the side of the bed, right? <laughs> Trying to find my fucking thing, I right? I see it, yeah. And then all of a sudden, with my right hand, you hear <laughs> a grab, right? Okay. And I go, ah! I did yell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, like, I did yell. Okay. Right? Better help. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. You guys, um, without better help and without therapy, I would be a lost man. Mm. People don't always realize that physical symptoms like headaches, teeth grinding, and even digestive issues can be indications of stress. And let's not forget about doom scrolling, sleeping too late, yeah. or sleeping too much. Stress shows up in all kinds of ways, guys. And in, 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 in a world that's telling you to do more, sleep less, and grind all the time, here's a remi your reminder to take care of yourself, do less, and maybe try some therapy. Honestly, you guys, take that from someone who has had years and years of digestive issues. I know for a <coughs> fact that was from unresolved feelings, years and years of stress and trauma, the list goes on. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. And honestly, some days, I just don't want to. I want to sit in the dark, turn on my phone, and speak to somebody who's going to help me. And, and it's much more affordable than in-person therapy. Give it a try and see if online therapy can help lower your stress. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Tiger Belly listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash belly. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash belly. <laughs> I like, I did yell. Okay. Right? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, let me say something, okay? She, now, she, now, she has to reach, because we have a double king-size bed, right? So, imagine she crawled across the bed, Right, leaned all the way down <laughs> to grab my. Who fucking does oh, that? Oh, she had to traverse. She had to traverse. Okay. Right, all that Tri distance. Tri right? Traverse. Right, and it wasn't like a poke. You know what I mean? It wasn't like a pat in the head. It was like, you are going to prison. <laughs> all right. So fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fear. Mm. It was a fear touch at the night. A fear touch of the night. Great. Fear. Okay. And I screamed. Now let me say something to you. Right. Who's at fault? Is everything he's saying, Kalila, does that check out now and make another understanding of your perspective or no? Look, I understood that, you know, we were both misunderstanding the situation in that moment. But then he got really mad at me afterwards. After the grab. Yeah, because and all the while he doesn't realize I was frightened because I genuinely thought, number one, he's stroking out and somehow this is his way of uh, this is how the stroke manifests okay. itself. Okay, okay. Or number two, he's no just a full demon. <laughs> No one's ever had a stroke, gone on all fours, and did a fucking <laughs> grudge dance. I was screaming at I was screaming his name at the top of my lungs. I have ear, ear uh, my plugs, and she knows that. That's insane. So the earplugs. That seems like that's the evidence that. Yeah, yeah, that's insane. Um, so um, you just don't put grab somebody. No, I, I will put it there until the judges tell me right who won. One. I don't even know what we're trying to decide winning in this. Just who was in the wrong, like in behavior wise, because. Let me say something right now. I didn't touch anybody, right? I was sick as well. 
I, you know what I mean? Like super sick, delirious. You know, we actually had a previous case where there was a man named Will Smith who touched another man, <laughs> Chris Rock. That's true. So this thank you so much. Very... I never heard about that. I only that's a yeah, it's, it's a, a new rumor, new case. But um, so what happened in that situation? I think it was split 50-50, but uh-huh. I would say he, Will the Smith, one that assaulted Will Smith probably shouldn't have put hands. You don't put hands on anybody. Wait, I was not trying to. <laughs> you, <laughs> you tried to right. You don't put hands. What, That's are you the, trying to say that grab was an assault? It was an assault, not a comfort. No, it was not comforting. Okay. It was not comfortable. It was, dude. Is this comforting? <laughs> I don't know. Out of nowhere, dude. You don't know it's coming. You think she's dead asleep? I mean, how would you know, right? Right. It's just. Gilbert. She did say she was looking out for you to protect you, though. For what? She thought you were strong. That's out. how. That's you were... how you comfort somebody that's having okay, a stroke from what? the evil forces. Okay, say you're having a stroke. How would you? Okay, actually, Clara's having a stroke and she's on all fours, butt in the air, doing her thing. How, yeah. do you, how do you check if she has a stroke or is she looking for AirPods? That's my first thing. I don't go to fucking stroke. Okay. I go. To, <laughs> so I go. So to, she has a stroke. No, I, no, I go to AirPods first <laughs> in my mind, right? I go to she's cleaning, right? She oh, has yeah, some yeah, yeah, other yeah. business, <laughs> other business. You know what I mean? A little. <laughs> Her coochie pad fell out of her bad badge. She's looking for the. I'm looking for my coochie pad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever they call it, the wings. The coochie, right? The, the, yeah. Like she got up to the bathroom. Her coochie, like the little string thing, fell out. Yeah. Right, and she's like, "Where is it? The bloody thing." You know what I mean? And, and, and I don't know. Whatever. That's her thing. And whatever you women, are, I feel bad. And whatever you go through, I'm on your side. And I'm and I'm always on nice. the side of the victim. My point is nice. This. Okay. <laughs> nice. My point is is this: I would never assault anybody. And that's and stroke isn't. I the would first hardly thing. call that assault. It was. Mm-mm. Kalala, can you grab his wrist the way yeah. you did it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that. Hmm. That's a, that, that was a long pause, getting, Gilbert. What did you, why, yeah, why yeah, is it so yeah. long pause? We might have to bump this up to the courts above. <laughs> oh, Supreme Court? <laughs> Supreme Court has to take this one. All right, so you, you, have no, literally, you literally don't have a side. I will say, he, I'm looking at it from the perspective of that she's protecting her man. If he did go crazy and got a stroke, but then I'm also understanding listen, the point listen, of view that in, in your what f- movie, in in any, in in where did you see a guy have a stroke? Right? You think movies are real life? It's so sad. No. <laughs> and that <laughs> that, was a di- that was that very was a dead quick. dig. And that that's quick. That's quick. Very quick. Very right? quick. But in also in you know what I mean <laughs> medical texts <laughs> and whatnot. Right? Have you ever? I've never heard of that. I'll say this: I don't know what to do. What, what do you actually do when someone has a stroke? Because maybe you, are call, you, s- you call nine one one, right? There's really which is not what you did. Do. Okay, that you, it's I, not what you did. You double jeopardy. If somebody's having a stroke, you call nine one one. That's not what she did. Okay. What about you, George? Well, I would have to admit I'm doubly biased. Why? Because one, I have a nightly ritual where I will tape my mouth so I breathe out of my nose. Uh huh. And that is what? always when my wife will start asking questions. She can be sound asleep. And then she'll like start a conversation with me, and I have to like try to like talk out of the side of my mouth. You, you tape your and mouth every night. Yeah, it actually yeah. forces you to nose breathe instead of mouth breathe, and it's very it's, healthy. It's, it's better for you to nose breathe. It's better them. until unless you're trying to have a conversation. Yeah, I'll take care of the kid to take care of tomorrow. I wish you had so, that apparatus on now. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so I, regret, I regret. And the second you. reason <laughs> is I too have lost an i an AirPod Pro. I dropped my AirPod case <coughs> right before going on a weekend trip. Yeah. Right outside of my car. Yeah. I found one two weeks of like, I didn't find, I'd searched for a half an hour, could not find the other one. For two weeks, I thought it would show up in my driveway, did not show up. I had to buy a new one. So I too feel the pain. Yeah. Of losing and Also, AirPods. it's not like, it's, 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 AirPods are expensive. Yes. They are. We're talking about $300, bro. I had to buy one. On a, on eBay for like the whole yeah it's like the half the cost of a whole AirPod thing. Well, you just bought one. Yeah, Air, buy the <laughs> whole was, thing. Well, I had one left, and the case. Yeah, but the all right, good job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that one. So I'm on uh, your side, Bobby. Yeah, I'm, uh, you, you, you got a loyal you want him on your side right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, <laughs> George. You might want to reconsider being on his side because like he's not that nice to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right now, it doesn't matter. I, it's, it, the judge doesn't have to like the fucking, you know what I mean? The truth. The truth. The truth. Oh, that is true. I don't know what that means. But anyway, um, I believe in the right, I guess. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, <laughs> just I believe, though, it's this, probably one of the sickest I've ever been. Oh, really? Yeah, I do believe that. I, I mean, I believe it is similar to a cold. It's not like anything. It's like, 
it's in the same ballpark in terms of. I wouldn't say cold. Cold's light. Yeah, cold light. is light, sweetie. Say flu. Like a flu. flu. flu is, is where yeah, flu. Saying. Yeah, yeah. And I've only had the flu maybe once or twice in my life. So same. it's like. Um, I have um, other things. I have COVID brain. Like I'm doing dumb things. Like I was in the car and I kept blasting the volume. I meant to turn the volume of this of the music lower, but then I kept turning the wrong direction and then getting confused and angry as to why I thought my car was broken. Because <laughs> I was actually turning it the wrong direction, but I was like, oh my God, my volume thing is broken. And not realizing that it was the wrong way. But and I was like, why did I do that? Like tiny little things like that where I walked my dog, came in through the door, unhooked the leash, and he ran upstairs. And then the next five sec five seconds later, I freak out. I go run out the door. I'm like, oh my God, I forgot my dog outside. And I didn't. Mm. Like dumb, th like weird brain lapses like that where I'm like, I'm a fucking idiot right now. Mm. I cannot be trusted right now. I can't yeah. be trusted to speak on this mic. Yeah, no. I know. Were any of you guys extra horny by any chance? You know, my vagina got super swollen. COVID ate my pussy. Oh, man. I mean, that's tighter. What do you mean extra horny, man? I will say on s Saturday, I was fine. Or Sunday, I had like fever dreams. And I kept waking up. Like I kept dreaming about building a computer. And I kept getting hard. <laughs> <laughs> like in my brain, I'm like, uh, cause I think I just got a new like laptop. So I'm like building the parts for like a new PC, a gaming <laughs> PC, the colors. And then I kept waking up really hard. I think he had dreams about Brad Pitt. Because I remember you That's woke up and you PC. were like. That wasn't a sexual thing. Like a It wasn't? Were you hard? Effect. I am always hard. Well, hey. That's so. Pop's no. always hard. So. No, here's, here, here, here. Here's the deal. Okay. Here, here, yeah. I did have a dream about Brad Pitt, but it wasn't a sexual one. Okay. It was like I was at a club and he goes, I like your podcast. I gave him a hug. Oh, you should and I just kind of followed him around the club a little bit. And then I ran into Dove Davidoff. And that's the whole dream. Oh. Yeah. But I'm more concerned about, because I saw a documentary once about people having sexual attractions to cars and making mm -hmm. love to fenders. And, and also, do like. Do you feel like that way with the new car? No, I'm asking you. Oh. Do you have some sort of, uh, like, object? Um, I don't Obsession. I just remember building and feeling like my heart racing and like the anticipation of having to finish this computer. Mm -hmm. And I would just like wake up like, Ugh, like not come. Oh, I know. I, what, I know what it is. What now. is it? You're a nerd. <laughs> You're <a> fucking <laughs> nerd. With a hard cock. And also, can I say this? <laughs> and I don't want to rip on you right now, but I'm going to. OK. All right. I've seen photos of you, man. In, Ew, that's in, that's how it's, What? I feel Who's very them to you. I no, 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 no. I feel very, I feel very uncomfortable. No, no, not nude photos, man. What the fuck? Why are you looking at my fappening page? No, no, no. What? The fappening page. Yeah, when you were fat. Yeah. And unfuckable. Okay. Mm, come on. What? You could say that. No, that's not. I thought. I you, mean, I wasn't having sex when I was fat. But it doesn't. That's. But it was a more of a mental thing. Exactly. But can I just listen to my theory? And if you don't like it. Then I'm wrong. Mm, okay. okay. So then you came to LA, right? Yeah. And you had lost weight, yeah. right? First year. You're a very talented man, yeah. right? And let's be honest, over the last three or four years, you know, people know who Gilbert Galan is. Yeah. You know, and, and this and that, but deep down inside, right? Yeah. Let me just ask you are you still that guy? The fat guy? Yeah. Because yeah, I believe, no, yeah, yeah, yes. So, be, so now think now. Yes, the fat guy back then probably looked at it, went to the fucking Apple store and got a rack, and that's how. It, but can I, I'm going to add to that. <laughs> that was your Great. connection to me being fat. Was I walked into an Apple store? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Back eight then, years later, I'm like, ah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying that like you were like a nerd in cell. Yeah, you know, I'm still a nerd. I'm still a nerd. I play video games. I like love weird shit online. I'm still a nerd. I think it's an attribute and not something that, like, let's suppose he is that fat kid inside. What's so wrong with that? I'm There's still nothing wrong with it. He's, he's, I didn't say it was a wrong thing. I'm just saying, I'm I, would, I would say this. I'm the, I'm still the fat kid in terms of the way how I feel jolly, the jolly aspect of it. But I don't feel as depressed as before, where I felt like I think you're. 
you're incredibly evolved and wonderful and kind and you're a good human being. And if that is the fat kid in you, then I love the fat kid in you, out of you, however the fuck it is. I think we're all the same in that way. That's what I want to, I want to clump, especially him. But I, I, yeah, but I <laughs> he's think, been lean and good looking. I know, but we're all. I know, but we're life. all in the same thing, right? I mean, Carla's never. I think that. when we were younger. Oh, he saw pictures of me when I was younger. Bro, finally, were you just muscular? Bro, she had one eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that due to Dude, fatness it was, or it was, is that due no, to? No, it was like a Muppet eyebrow. You know what I mean? Can we get the picture? Like, Can they they, you they took a, me, text a piece of felt. Have you seen it? This is what God did. This is what God did. And just put a fucking fucking eyebrow on her face. And the angels bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. And they stretched had, the gap out of her you, teeth, and they did cross her eyes. Wait, you had a unibrow? I didn't know that. Yeah, so I had I have excessive eyebrow growth, and I think that's why I overplucked in high school, because I found, finally was allowed to hold a pair of tweezers. Wow. And I was so insecure about <laughs> my bushy eyebrows that I just overplucked. One so this is basically only an eighth of what they used to be, what I have now. I have extremely bushy brows, but because he's always like, oh, you know, you... You've always been cute your whole life. And I'm like, that's because I've only shown you cute pictures of me. I've never shown you the ugly ones. And he was like, show me a couple. And he was like, I've seen enough. I've seen enough. He didn't like <laughs> more than two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, here's the thing. But can I say something about myself as a kid? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I believe now that I wasn't, because I could, but because in the 80s, I grew up in the suburbs of a white suburb you know, area. I was a little smaller than other people. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't get women to like me at all in any kind of way. So I always thought that I was ugly. I'm not being rude. I'm just looking for the photo. It's fine. I always thought that I was ugly. and But I, I think that the t I just lived in the wrong era. I think I see. Okay. if I was that age in high school now, it would be a completely different ballpark. I would get my fair share i'll tell you this much now that he saw those pictures he was like oh yeah i wouldn't have even looked at you he would have been the hotter one this is high and you know like you wait, would not have paid me any minor high school, attention high school we're we talking about or what um age? like i this is my tween years and also part high school okay. he he was shocked to his core how actually ugly i was i that's not true because well that's what you said yesterday <laughs> Okay, I, I know. I'd love to get your perspective. Because it was my, because it was my first initial <coughs> look at that photo, where I went, oh, you know what I mean? But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm going to admit something, that I used to dig holes in the dirt and stick my dick in it. I mean, that's how. I'll be honest, I don't think you've ever said that on a podcast. I'm really proud of you. Actually, you know what? I think that is. I should have said that. I've never <laughs> heard this before. Yeah, but I did. No, but I think that. I dug a hole in the earth. And I stuck my penis in it. You, you know what I did to masturbate as a child? What? I had two bears. One named, one was named Emno and the other one was named Emni. Do you know how many times Emni had to eat my pussy? Bears? Not real bears. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy bear. Oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you grew up in Slovakia? I, I don't know what's going on here. Why are we all out of honey? But do you know that Emni, if you were to have like even, so it, I it, Emni was just shoved into my pussy all day long. Yeah. You put an so, actual furry bear in your vagina? No, no, no. Just to touch, you know, Emni's face was always on my um, vagina. So the soil? Yeah. Honestly, I think that's earth giving back to earth. But, I, yeah, but I didn't do it out of sexuality. I did it out of <laughs> science. You did it out of it. Yours was weird. You're trying to bury your dick. No, mine was science. No, I, tr I, I honestly thought if I came in the earth, you grow that it would grow a bobby tree. <laughs> Bro, that is something a kid would believe. Yeah, I believe that. Because I earth also believe that when I swallowed a watermelon seed, that a watermelon would grow in my stomach. Sweetie, <laughs> when, you stuck, when, yeah, yeah. When, you stuck your, when you stuck your dick in the soil, did the other earthworm say, Dad? <laughs> That's not fair. That my oh. dick is as small as a birth were skinny. But that was good. That's, on the spot. That yeah, yeah, was that good. was pretty good though. But that's not fair, and that's rude. All right. Dad, yeah. Father. Yeah. Imagine if that happened. An earthworm starts like. Yeah. No, the earthworm probably would say, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> probably right. What would earth if my dick? If my let, let, uh, you're an earthworm. And you've you, you've you know about humans, but you know what I mean. You've never seen one. Sure, you're yeah. in the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're just squirming around in your holes, and you look up, and there's a yellow dick, <laughs> right? Just in like right in front of you. What would you say? 
Um, you probably scream. I think so. How do you think earthworms scream? Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't have they don't have science alert. Cards. Science alert. <laughs> <laughs> science alert. Science alert. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I don't know where we're, t- what we're Dude, talking about. Dude, that was about. wild. It was wild. But anyway. Wow, you, so you would stick, okay, so not sexual, but you would stick your dick. What in. have you stuck your dick in? Uh, I used to do this thing where I used to make carve a hole with my penis in my soap bar. <laughs> so every time I take a shower, yeah. the hole would get bigger and bigger. My, my family would always be like, why is this just a hole yeah, in the yeah, soap yeah. bar? And I yeah. would just, you know, put my uncircumcised penis <laughs> through that. It, At it, least you were washing it. See, I would do it in water, so yeah. But that would hurt because you know no, no, no. I can't hurt. masturbate with shampoo because the shampoo and all that stuff goes inside the hole mm-hmm. and it burns it. It totally does. Same with women. Yeah. You can I like I've before in the past like used to soap my vagina and it would go into my pee hole. So when I would pee, oh the pain. Yeah. It's like knives or like glass coming out of there. It's so bad. You can't do that, Gil. Yeah. Okay, guys, don't do that anymore. But my friend. <laughs> oh, I should have said his name. <laughs> All right, we'll bleep that out. Yeah, yeah, what because your he's so do? mad. He's so mad. What did your friend from Connecticut do? Yeah, my friend from Connecticut told me that um, he's a comic, and he said um, you should microwave the the oil that you get from the porn store. <gasps> Scary. Yeah, That sounds dangerous. Yeah, I scalded the sides of my thighs. I put it in the plastic vagina, and it, and it, it, it was so hot, <laughs> it would just pour it out, and it went, and, on the, and went, ah! You know, it was fucking the worst. So you belong on that show, like the crazy stories <laughs> of the ER. Yeah. So guys, just listen. Don't microwave it. <laughs> Don't microwave oil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when a girl goes down on you, there's just scars. No, it your... just—it wasn't like um, I didn't. I don't need a skin graft. <laughs> it's like I didn't look like Harvey Dent. Down Dude, there. think about you went to the hospital. Yeah, yeah. This guy needs a skin graft. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. need to know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, I heated up oil. Or like, I'm like Harvey Dent, but instead of side to side burn, I'm just waist <laughs> burn from the waist down. <laughs> It's two face. Yes, yeah, two. Yeah. Did you guys receive um the picture? Oh, of you. Just, just I, don't I, put I, it on the screen, but just see for yourselves. Just zoom in. It, it, it still looks like her. It just. I want to see Gilbert's face. Look at. It's okay, right? Uh, you look like an Israeli. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wait, Israeli people are. They're gorgeous. beautiful. They're beautiful. A warrior that's in prison. <laughs> yeah. That's a beautiful thing. I will say this, Kawinda. Gorgeous. She's always been gorgeous. Always Window? Been gorgeous. Y- she yeah, has yeah, never yeah. B- gone through an ugly phase. You, young kid at a bar mitzvah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. That is crazy that you grew out of that. Or yeah. have I? Your eyebrows are so thick there. I know, you guys. That's why I went full. You Let know. me ask you something. Mm. If you didn't, you know, you, you get them threaded or whatever. Yeah. And you didn't fuck with them at all. Mm. Would you just have one solid eyebrow? I'll tell you this. If I had Please not. Please don't tell me. Just say no. <laughs> Express VPN. You guys, when I was in Hungary last year, yeah, um, I wanted to watch um, UFC stuff on my app, mm. ESPN, and I couldn't do it, mm. right? Because I'm in a different country. Okay, <laughs> yeah, baby. but you want to know what I used? Express VPN, and I was able to see all my shows with all my gadgets. It's the best. It makes you feel like you're in the CIA or FBI or something. Like you have some extra power. Well, it's true because have you ever browsed anything on the internet on yeah. like incognito mode? Uh-huh. Mm. And, you know, it's probably not as incognito as you think. And why would it be? Chances are the browser that we're using has made its fortune by tracking our, um, our movements online. What? Yeah, oh, they track you. <laughs> and what do these big tech companies say when they're called out for collecting user data? Incognito does not mean invisible. Yeah. So how so how can we actually make ourselves as invisible as possible online, sweetie? I don't know. Go ahead. Use ExpressVPN like I do. So if you really want to go incognito and protect your privacy, secure yourself with the number one rated VPN. Visit expressvpn.com slash belly and get three extra months for free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash belly. Go to expressvpn.com slash belly to learn more. (laughs) (laughs) That's all. That's all. Just enough. Will our kids have a a, a unibrow? Probably for me, yes. Bro, a a Korean with a unibrow? I've never seen that. I've never seen that either. But it will get taken care of. Yeah. I, I am a very, you know, I have, yeah. 
I have those genetics. Interesting. Big mouth, big brows. Interesting. You know what? I'm fine. I love you who, the way you are. <laughs> and um, can I tell you something also what's going on with me? I think I have a weight obsession. Oh, I called it. What does that mean, weight obsession? Well, okay, so I weighed before when I was using and all that before, I was um, I weighed 185. Mm. And it's interesting. If you go to the improv in Melrose, they put, you know, in the hallway, which is really sweet, and this is a dream come true, is because when I first moved to L.A., and this is going to sound gross, but I don't give a fuck. Hollywood, baby. When I first came to L.A., they wouldn't even let me in the improv. You'd have to buy a ticket because they didn't even know I was a comic. Mm -hmm. And eventually they knew I was an open micer, so on some nights I would be able to walk in there. And when you would walk in there back in the 90s, you would see like Seinfeld like laying, sitting against there. And I saw Chris Rock there and a bunch of people would hang out there. I just, feel, I just felt like, like I'm never going to make it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. And... Um, so now if you walk in and the hallway when you get to the showroom, there's a photo now of me and Andrew Santino side by side, which is amazing, right? That's cool. But if you look at the photo, I look so fat. Like, I'm 185 in that photo, right? And now I'm at uh, 160. I was going to guess like 150. 160. But now, if I'm above 160, I get really depressed <coughs> and I won't eat. Uh oh. It's That's just not, you know uh, he has stopped cigarettes. He has stopped other like um, addictions, mm -hmm. and I think that it's coming out in a very disordered um, weight food mm -hmm. thing. What do you mean disordered? He the first thing he did was like a couple weeks ago was buy a weighing scale, and my rule for myself is I don't own a weighing scale. Never will bring one into the house because like I've had a history of like disordered you know um eating and all of that so i just don't weigh myself right i'm like if i work out you know i eat good i feel good that's enough for me like i know where i'm at though the scale does not tell me how to feel but this motherfucker he bought a weighing scale a bed bath and beyond a really fancy one great store and i know that every time he goes to pee and every time he washes his hands anytime he's in the bathroom he will weigh himself and to me like i recognize that because i used to be that i'm like mm -mm, Dude, that's, that's not like good like last night I was at 159. I was you like, freaked out. I haven't had that. No, it was good. And you got a rush of probably feel good. Yeah, I was like, I haven't been like that in 15 years. You know what I mean? Mm. And it felt good. But then it's concerning because it's not that I'm like hungry. Like I ate, I had already eaten that night. You know what I mean? So it's like I wasn't hungry. And I'm, I'm, eat, I'm eating whatever I want to. I mean, I, I ate f five pasta meals in a row. Jesus. Yeah, but I think you're moving more. You know, we're hiking more. Yeah, I'm moving uh, a lot. Yeah, I'm moving a lot. Yeah, yeah, and I'm exercising more and stuff like that. Um, but um, who do you guys think of my car? Uh, she sent us a picture. I sent him. You saw it outside. I saw it outside, but I saw it a couple days ago. I like it. That's what I would do. <laughs> I would go even. I would tint my windows. It I guess they're tinted. I go darker. Darker, but it's not illegal. illegal. Oh, I know, but yeah, yeah. And I would even tint the lights too. Oh, all black. the light. And then all the decals, matte black. The they green. are, all the decals. Every are. single thing? Yeah. yeah I, like, I like the little red pops, though, in it. Mm. What yeah. color are your brakes? Are those red? <laughs> you know what? The... You know what? I didn't know I was. I, I forgot you're a nerd and you're a rice rocket nerd. Are you hard right you're, now, Gilbert? Are yeah, you hard yeah, right now? Hard right now. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, hard yeah, yeah, right yeah. now? Hey, what color are the brakes? What do you think? What do you think? Does, does your car have a computer he can fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Can I fix it? Can I fix it? What do you think? I really like it. It doesn't feel you though. That's so weird to like. I yeah, haven't seen you drive it. I yeah. think seeing you drive that car will feel odd, uh, uncomfortable. Well, here's why. <laughs> why? Because you you usually drive a piece of shit car. Like, well, I mean, here's it's, uh, it's, here's what I think you guys are unaware of. It doesn't have any dents having, in it. Having played passenger to this speed demon for the past ten years, he has, I think, his other job. His other success story would have been as a Formula One driver. He is, I know I always talk shit about him being really like reckless on the road, but I actually think he is just an incredible driver. Like he, the way he takes turns, the way he's just so skilled, I there think. It is. That I think something fast and sportier and a good handle actually suits him. And so I, I thought that too, George. How's the interior? Clean? Yes, he's taking such good care of it. Tokyo Drift, baby. Tokyo Drift. 
Wow. Let me say something. Okay. He fucked up my car. He left all of his shit in there, but his car is clean. <laughs> yeah. I, I Here, the reason why I got a fancy new car, number one, because Andrew has one. Wait, this is all about yes. matching him? <laughs> yes. Because he's such a fucking idiot when it comes to like machismo shit. You know what I mean? He's always like, look at this baby, right? Like if I... Wait, oh, I see. If I if I show up to bad friends, you know what I mean, after him and he's still in the parking lot or the you know, he'll always be leaning against his car or whatever, like James Dean, and he'll always go, Look at this new baby and he'll like caress it next to my like windowless dented up <laughs> fucking Prius, right? And I thought, you know what? I have to number one outdo him. And number two, I've never had a nice car, and because you bought yours. And how nice it was. I'm like, I'm not smoking in the car anymore, you know. And and if you spend more money on it, and I believe this to be true, um, because it was like 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 oh, uh, you know, can I even afford this? And I um, I I want to treat it like an expensive thing. Like I, you know, I it's I nice. don't want to replace it. Nice. You know what I mean? I don't. I want it to keep looking nice because it's expensive. You know, I, I always bought uh, crappy cars before because I knew I didn't care. Like, I would get a ding the first day. I don't give a fuck. Wait, but doesn't, didn't your psychiatrist say that that's one of the signs of ADHD? Is like, um, didn't she ask you, like, when you drive, do, do you not care what happens to your car? And stuff? Yeah, it's a, also against behavior. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. She's like, I, she's the one that encouraged me. She was just like, you know what you should because you're you're trying to do your life differently now, and I think that you deserve it. And you know, it's all about what I feel like I deserve, <laughs> and I want to treat myself nice. I never treat myself nice, and um, we'll just see what happens. But um, so far, so good. I'm very excited about it. I can't wait to drive it around tonight. It's kind of cute though because he, when he backs up, he's now really careful. Yeah. And like he <laughs> just dope. overall just drives way more careful and this is like, yeah. I don't know, like it. Good investment. You're going to run into Jules's car now like because she's parked in half the driveway. I know. Wait, was that, yeah, a, yeah why was that parked like that? Because she's too lazy to park f farther away. Yeah, that's the So she's going to block us in. She'd rather block us in. It's these power moves over here. She, um... <laughs> the new Bobby of the house. I you know like, what? She might be. I was like, Bobby's parked up there. I'm like, who would park this like that? You know, he yelled at her the last night because... And I've never heard Bobby. I never thought I would hear the like day. A real yell? Like, yell at her because she... Like, he's been a lot more considerate around the house. Like, the house is actually not a mess. Like, he's really helpful and I like it's blowing my fucking mind. Let's go, baby. But um so she <laughs> I'm really Free horny. I'm, for so, life. I'm so horny right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need, help, dude. you need help, dude. You need help, dude. Go ahead. How about we all How jerk did I yell at her? off? I don't remember yelling at her. Gilb, can we all jerk you off? <laughs> Maybe. <I'm not laughs> touching that thing, man. Come on, let's all jerk him off. Early birthday present. No, it's probably got a lot of loose skin on it. Hey, guess what? What makes great sounds. <laughs> Go ahead, babe. How did I yell at her? So she, he yelled at so, her. So, um, I was minding my own business, eating my soup, and then all I hear is, Jules, get out of here! And he was pointing at the um, washing machine, and apparently she had left um, stuff there for the last day and a half to just kind of... I hate it. You hate I, it now, though. You didn't always. I know. I've always. It's always bothered me, but I've never said anything. Here's the deal, uh -huh. right? I'm at a point in my life now where I'm just going to... if. I'm not going to, what I do is I'll like, something will irritate me and then I'll absorb it and I'll just never say <coughs> anything, right? Mm -hmm. But now it's just like, because, and it, it's something that I am told to do. It's not, it's not mm -hmm. I'm trying to go outside myself and almost force myself to do things, like express myself, right? Like to say, you know what, that's, I don't like the way you talk to me like that. Like, like David Cho said something, I can't tell you what it is. But David Cho said something a month ago, and I had to go to him, don't ever talk to me like that again. And I've never done that to anybody. Mm. And he's so, especially a guy like him where I feel like in my head, he's my friend and I love him like a brother, right? But 
he's also an artist and he's kind of famous and he's cool and all this stuff. So I don't want to, you know what I mean, ruffle his feathers or get in a fight. But now I'm just going, don't talk to me like that. I did, don't deserve to be talked to like that. It hurt my feelings. And he apologized, right? So when I saw the, um, the worst is when clothes is wet in the washer for a couple of days and it smells, smells mm-hmm. like mildew or something. I hate, I I hate, hate, hate it, right? Because you have to rewash it. Because mm-hmm. then when you do dry that, you still have that stench in it and I don't like it. So I just said, don't ever do that. I don't like it. That's all I said to Jules. How does she respond to stuff like that? She pretty just like whatever. She just said sorry. I, I Like it registers. Right? I don't know. I don't necessarily know if we're the best examples for her in life. The way you said that. <laughs> Your face. I don't know exactly know that she's learning the best skills and and whatnot from us. All right, boarding school. Boy, she's I, I I do you believe that? I don't think so. I think that here's we there's some pros and cons. I'll I'll You list, guys have a lot uh, of pros. Let's not, you know. The, the pros are, up. you know, she has this newfound like confidence and like this true, true. like you know, I can do whatever I want to do. Like I do, she, there is a growth about her. Like even when Mm -hmm. my mom looks at her, she's just like, she's just, she can do it all. Magic Mountain was a huge example, right? She had just debilitating fear. Like I'll never do that. And she did all of it, right? So that, I, I, that's cool. And I think in that way, we are, teaching her you guys made her like i remember like watching her on jeremiah's podcast she did a podcast by herself and then mm-hmm. literally years ago you told me that she cried because she couldn't even perform in front of the family correct that's you guys that was all you guys oh right. yeah remember that's she did huge. she cried she cried because she sang in front of the family that's how yeah. nervous she was and she and she was it devastated her devastated so in that way yes we've the, the cons are this yeah the cons are <clears throat> we live a very atypical life of most of our days are spent at home picking our butts <laughs> and somehow she sees that we make money and so in that way she's thinking oh i could pick my butt too mm-hmm. and maybe i can make money picking my butt and um that's just yeah you're right it's but not it's a good also example. stuff like <clears throat> let's go to coachella and vip tickets and you're gonna stand next to the stage when beyonce is performing i mean it's like Let's go. Let's go to Hawaii whenever we want, and we. She's always in Hawaii. But even though she's had all of those things, she has never acted not once like a spoiled. No, I, no, no, I'm not saying. I'm not saying that she's her behavior. I'm just saying that. <sighs> well, I'm. We made her buy the car off of you. That's true. That's good. That's true. We finally came to agreement. I'm like, you just cannot give her free things, and she bought the car with her own money, and like nice. we were really proud of her. Because there, there is, you know. And in my 20s, especially, right, a kind of pain and suffering, just in terms of like not being able to know where you're going to eat mm-hmm. or sleep. You can't pay any bills. You can't buy anything. You know, the future is grim, right? The stress, mm-hmm. all those things that were all motivating factors for me to, you know, get the life that I have now, right? I mean, I worked really hard. I went through a lot of bullshit and suffering and pain, but it was all needed, you mm-hmm. know? So I just, I don't, I don't want her to miss out on that. I think those are vital things. Can I, I this is not to defend her, but I'm going to leave, I'm not give, defending, I'm giving not you a little bit apart. more of a backstory about Jules. It, um, Jules grew up without with her biological father absolutely rejecting her. Yeah. He saw her Terrible. once or twice before she turned five. He, she reached out to him when she was 12. He had already had a new family and basically left her on red. Wow. Um, the girl grew up with nothing. You know, now her mom and dad are obviously like, they're self-made people. She runs a business. He, he didn't have now, running water. He had, he, he's now a judge. But before that, when she first had, um, she was with a single mom who didn't have running water, who lived in a house with three other families. Um, Juliana was born needing a blood transfusion. She had, yeah, she's, there's the girl, like, so imagine this. 
it went from having nothing and then coming to America having and everything. then, yes, essentially, yes. But I can promise you, she does not take a single moment of her life for granted because most of her childhood was a state of trauma. Okay. And she was beat relentlessly as a yeah, kid. Yeah. She is, you know, that's why she's so like, e to know Jules and to watch her grow mm. is to absolutely adore her resilience. Yeah, I, that is, there is something about her, like I was driving yesterday with her and she's just like, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> and I go, Wait, what? well, I mean, but it's astounding to me because it's like she's not from here. Yeah, yeah. She's from a different country, right? And she knows all the streets. She, I, you know, it's like I, I don't have to worry about it. She has her own car. She knows basically L.A. and how to get to certain places. If you tell her to go to Santa Monica or you know, Compton or wherever she wants to go, right? Compton. You know what I mean? Inglewood, what's up? Oh. You know what I mean? But... um. <laughs> She's just able to, she just knows about navigation, knows she knows where she is. She's an adult. She's a woman, you know, and it's, it's, it's cool to see that, you know. Mm. I just, you know, you have to understand, I, I don't think she views me as a parent, but I definitely have parental um, worries. Mm. Mm -hmm. I do, you know, it's just. I, th I would say you are the single, single most influential male in her life, and she would probably agree. It's amazing. Shut up. She's like Seriously. you. She doesn't want to give it up. She doesn't want to be like, you know what I mean? She yeah. doesn't like, you know, want you to hear the compliments because she knows you're not going to take it anyways. Yeah, yeah. So you're, 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 the type of love that you guys share is a very roasting kind of love where it's like you're always going after each other. And that, that to me is also kind of endearing because, you know. Well, I don't, because I, yeah, I don't, she's not my biological kid and I, I only knew her as a young adult, right? So it's like, you know, how do you like the only thing I know to do is like fart on her or put a booger on her wall or you know what I mean? Like I don't know how what else, you know. But in terms of like life lessons and stuff, like like when we were on the rides at Match Mountain, especially X2, and she was literally in a state of sh like fear and shock and just looking at her and I, I and I go, look at me, you know what I mean? I promise you, you're not gonna die, right? I'm here next to you, right? It's only going to be one minute of your life, right? Mm -hmm. And just enjoy it. Try to enjoy it, right? And she's just like listening, but in petrified, but listening. And then afterwards, you know, we're done the ride. You know how you're still like in docking mode? Yeah. yeah. Right? And you start, you're talking. And I go, you okay? And she's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I go, you're not dead, are you? She's like, no. I go, was it kind of fun? She's like, a little, you know what I mean? Yeah. And a after each ride, you could see her kind of grow and enjoy it, you know, more, you know what I mean? And realize it's not that big of a deal, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But anyway. She is the perfect definition of silent killer to me. She is somebody that if even me being as much as, as, as what, 17 years older than her, if you need advice, and I mean sage advice, She's that person. She is so wise beyond her years and she will never mince her words around you. She's, it's like, Jules, what do you think of this? I think this. It's very, she'll plainly give it to you mm -hmm. without, I don't know, in a way that like I could never do with people in my life when I was her age. Mm -hmm. And I really think that do not let her um, quiet nature fool you. That girl is fucking strong and she is intelligent and she is so fucking wise beyond her years. I'm telling you. No, I believe that. But ca why can't I be concerned? About? <laughs> Just in general. Yeah, you can. Dad concern. Yeah, you know, that's it, you know. Um, and how's... Fatherhood for you. Oh wait, George, your your baby just turned one. George, oh yeah, can I, I've can got I share a, little... a photo, George, or is that okay or no? Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. I've got a little theory. I think. Uh, oh I... my god, so cute, handsome. Yeah. We should have Bobby guess what uh, item uh, George's son chose. Wait, we should explain the tra uh, current oh, the, tradition. tradition. First. What's it called again? Go ahead, Kalala. You, you know it the most. <laughs> You've done eighteen thousand. So when a Korean baby <laughs> turns one. Yeah. Oh, when a half Korean baby turns one, so you could put objects in front of them and they have to crawl towards it. And whatever they, things like, like um, a stethoscope or, you know, uh, uh, a paintbrush or whatever they pick up. Money. Will, 
money, say for instance, whatever they choose is supposed <laughs> to be what they become as adults. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? That's a tradition. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And Bobby, do you remember what you chose when you were younger? I think I chose nothing. I I crawled into... Should I call your mom and ask you her? You should ask Yeah, I'm going to ask your mommy. I'll, I'll call her. Yeah, call her. What if it was a skateboard? <laughs> you're actually not following your true path. So yeah, while you're calling uh, Tommy, so he went for the money. He was close to it. And then he veered right and got a stethoscope. So what were all, what were all the objects for yours? Um, you, we had like all the basics, except for no uh, no microphone. Oh, no, no entertainment, no yeah. entertainment object. Interesting. Um, they but, the, but I think I'm not here to leave a message. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here. Let me do it one more time. You I think, think it was on purpose. They call? made the. Uh, oh, here we go. They had about ten very shiny medical instruments. And nothing else was as colorful. Hmm, doesn't seem forced. He didn't all. even give him the option to be an entertainer no. when he gets older. I'm gonna force it on him. <laughs> Maybe she's on a walk. I like her message though. Hold on. <laughs> oh, Bobby! Mom. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Are you get better? Oh. Yeah. Good, good. Uh, Kalala, wanna, Kalala wants to ask you something. Okay. Hi, Uma. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm, we're better. We're better. Good, good. <laughs> I was worried about you guys. You know? I know. I know. We're okay now. But you know when Bobby um, turned one, um, did he? Did you make him choose an object? You know that tradition where like the babies crawl towards an object? And then... Mm -hmm. What's the name called? What's it called? A doll? Not a doll. Uh, a doll. Doll, 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 yeah. You know, like a one first year of a baby? Yeah. I think we have a picture for him, right? Yeah, but what did I... What, what did I, he choose? What, choose? what object? Oh, oh, oh. Good day, Zagoya. Money. <laughs> oh! Oh, money? Makes sense. Uh. The money that I grab oh, I grab money. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, awesome, mom. <laughs> yeah, you I, just got, you, you got rich, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mom, we're on the podcast. I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay. I love you. Love Good you. night. Love you. Bye. Yeah. Money. 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 Yeah, money. <laughs> That's weird. I never knew that. That makes sense. That's fascinating. Yeah. Why would I do that? And do you can you imagine her disappointment when she looked outside the window and she saw you sticking your dick in the soil? <laughs> <laughs> but he chose money. <laughs> what is this? Money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that, yeah I can't imagine that. <laughs> so what did your your son chose? What a uh, stethoscope. Oh, so it's, that could mean a couple of things, right? <laughs> I what think you, it's what, what could it mean? Medical profession. Or it could also mean. You know, he'll be sick for his whole life. No. Jesus Christ. Why are you <laughs> who like are that? you? <laughs> I mean, he could, I don't know what, I'm, you know, who knows what that hey, means. Your son's going to be fine, George. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. <laughs> don't he'll worry be, about he'll it. Be Jesus he'll be fine. Jesus. He'll be fine. He'll see a lot of hospitals somehow. <laughs> what? He'll see a lot of hospitals somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. Um, <laughs> you know what now, I mean? you know that he did not put a mic on there. He didn't even give his son the option to be an entertainer one day. Well, the in laws made it. And I, I, I was surprised when I didn't see a mic. And I was a little angry because like kids always choose the balls because mm -hmm. they're something fun to play with. Mm. And they had three ball, three balls. I was about to throw a few out just so there was one less chance. Like, because it's real hard. To wait, wait, wait. So you know, Koreans are demanding. Do they treat you good or do they treat like shit? Uh, they treat me good. I think. <laughs> <laughs> they treat me good. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a lot of expectations. I think. Yeah. Uh, so it's difficult to fulfill all the expectations. Yeah. How do you um? What kind of relationship do you have with um, the in-laws? Like, do you guys like talk, or is it more like a you know a mutual respect, quiet time? <laughs> uh, it's more the mutual respect. Uh, uh, it's not a quiet time. It's a I listen time. Mm -mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the way to do it, George. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you're playing it right. But you know what? Congratulations. He looks extremely cute, like handsome in a real way, like. You know, she, he does remind me of uh, a male version of Jessica's daughter. Mm -hmm. mm. You know what I mean? Like a show baby. Yeah. Um, you guys definitely have made show babies. You made a show baby. And congratulations, man. You should be very happy. Nice, you know? man. I am. Okay, good. 
Although I do think uh, you guys got COVID, so you wouldn't have to come to the birthday party. <laughs> That's my theory this whole time. Was there a ba- really? There was there a birthday party? Yes. Yeah. His family flew in. Oh, we missed it. We'll do one here. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fault. There's nothing worse than my fault. It's my fault. Uh, yeah, unhelpful. Yeah. Unhelpful advice with Bobby and Kalila. Hey, Tiger Belly Familia. I'm stuck in a physically, emotionally, and verbally abusive relationship. Both of us are women, but my partner constantly calls me a whore and a prostitute because I've slept with men in the past. Things started great because uh, things started great, but became so sour so fast. We have lived together for two years, and I can't leave for many reasons. But the real catch here is that after being with her for so long, I miss being with men. I miss playing video games and having trash humor. I also think I'm hung up on previous male best friend of mine, who actually introduced me to Tiger Belly. At this point, I feel like my partner deserves to be cheated on, but I can't bear the guilt. What do I do? Break and up. You break leave. up. You yeah, leave. leave. She, it's just Poor and prostitute? Look, um, on all of the... Being a... Coming from an ex-whore, <laughs> I think it is an asset to me. Just as it is an asset that Bobby has been with countless of women. I think that is not something that anyone should shame you over. We are just such experienced lovers at this point. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, if she ever decides to call you a whore again, say thank you and what? Ooh. Just leave. Well, it sounds ha- terrible. Like we've been together for ten years almost. We don't have. We don't call each other. We're not like that way. He calls me Tucci, and sometimes I'll call him like certain things. But oh, you say all kinds of shit, baby boy. <laughs> you hate little that. Little boy. Wait, there's my little baby, little boy, little boy. You're always like demeaning me in that way. Oh, that's an insult. Wait, that's you take that as an insult, but I'm like, good morning, my <laughs> little boy. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, it just is Tucci an insult. Yeah, Tucci's not a, yeah. a oh great actor. Oh my god, he's a Every great day, actor. And when I wake up in the morning, he's like, "Sup, Tooch?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> say don't. Sup, Sup, Tooch. Never said say that. Never you know, he says has that. cooking books. He has cooking books. He has cooking books, man. I just saw him in the uh, the bookstore the other day. Yeah, cooking books. I was gonna. Stanley Tucci is. Um, let me tell you something about him, man. Uh, we, he's a great actor, right? <laughs> I find him to be very handsome. Okay. And um, I, I also, I don't know him, but he seems like a guy that, like, um, if I was on set with him and stuff, yeah. that he'd be just cool. You know what I mean? It's one of my favorite things someone made a long time ago. <laughs> Kalila Morphing into Stanley Tucci in, in an Animorphs book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I, you know, he just has a vibe about him that, like, is cool, man. You know? Listen, I would have to agree with you. Yeah. I just think that there are so many other people I look like outside of Stanley Tucci. I know, it, it, I know, but it's a funny. <laughs> it's just a funny call to call you. Well, also, Tucci. I didn't know that our baby boy ritual hurt your feelings. Usually, you do the, the dances when I say it. I know, I do and the I dances. Say, my little baby boy, and you go. I know, I do the dances. I do the dances, right? But it's like deep down inside, I think it like kind of hurts. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Because Cindy will sometimes pet me, go there, there. I'm like, don't fuck do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there. She goes, I'll like make a mistake. And yeah. she goes, oh, there, there. <laughs> That's worse, dude. And I can't have to bite my tongue because I'm the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah very yeah, loving yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Cindy is the very best I've ever met. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. her so there, much. Or just mean. There, because there. there really isn't anything to rile someone up more than a there, there. That is hilarious. I love, I love their. I respect her so much. We're all sent a text with the wrong grammar, and she goes like, "Oh, I don't know what that means. It's <laughs> obvious what it means." <laughs> oh, really? She's that too. Yeah. I hate when people like correct you on t- uh, on like when you text. I somebody. fuck up on texting so much. Yeah. Like, um, it, that's plural, dude. It's like yeah, I don't, but I just, you you should by now know that could have. Would have, could have, should have. It's should've. could have. It's not could it have, OF. You know what I'm saying. I do. Could have. Yeah, everyone knows what I'm saying. And I don't, um, yeah. I just, you know, tell anyway. you. Anyway. Babe, typo. Typo. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. Anyway, so um, that concludes another episode of a solo version of Tiger Belly. Um, thank you for listening. We love you guys so much. We really do. And, um, you know, we have. The best fans in the world. And uh, Nosotros Papaya, your Slep King, signing off. You're going to cheat on anybody. Cheat on them with a tiger belly. Oh, that's.
that is true.